in three variables. Let the three equations be a1x plus b1y plus c1z equal to d1, a2x plus b2y plus c2z equal to d2, and a3x plus b3y plus c3z equal to d3, which can be easily converted into matrix progression as a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3, multiplied by the column matrix containing x, y, z equal to the column matrix containing d1, d2, d3, which is of the form ax equal to b, where a is equal to the matrix a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3. A, a is called the coefficient matrix. And x is equal to x, y, z, which is called variable or unknown matrix. And b is equal to d1, d2, d3, called constant matrix. Let's again do it. We assume determinant of a not equal to zero. Therefore, a is non-singular and a inverse exists. Since ax is equal to b, we pre-multiply both sides by a inverse to get a inverse into ax equal to a inverse into b. A inverse into A into X is equal to A inverse B. But A inverse into A is unit matrix. That means I into X is equal to A inverse B. Or X is equal to A inverse B. Which implies that X, Y, Z is a matrix A inverse into B. Which clearly gives the solution. But if A is singular, then the equation may or may not have a solution, which we discuss as follows. Following is the flowchart to verify whether a given set of equations are consistent, that is, if they admit a solution or not. So the given initial point is ax equal to b. The two cases are when b is not equal to 0 and b equal to 0. We take up if b is not 0. That means right hand matrix b is not completely at 0 elements. Now two cases arise. If determinant of a is not 0, then there is a unique solution and the equations are said to be consistent. Second, if determinant of A is equal to zero, again two cases arise. That is, adjoint of A into B equal to zero, there are infinite number of solutions and the equations are said to be consistent. The second case is when adjoint of A into B is not equal to zero, in this case, there is no solution, and the equations are said to be inconsistent. Now we take up the second case, when b is equal to zero, that means right hand side, b1, b2, b3 are all zeros. In this case, the equations are said to be homogeneous equations and two cases arise. If determinant of A is equal to zero, we have infinite number of solutions and the equations are said to be consistent. But if determinant of A is not zero, then only zero solution is possible. 
even then the equations are said to be consistent. This zero solution is also called trivial solution. Let's take up a question. The set of equations x plus y minus z